Hello Pisces, this is going to be a reading for September 7th to September 13th, 2020. Please subscribe <clears throat> excuse me, to my channel if you haven't done so. It really helps the channel out a lot. And feel free to leave a comment. There's no way this can connect to every single Pisces out there. I read the cards and you decide if the situation applies to you. If it doesn't, hopefully you know your ascendant or your moon sign. You can watch those videos. Or possibly um, your other your partner's sign, which would be a cross watcher, is what it's called when you watch other people's sign videos. So please feel free to vice versa masculine feminine energy on the card too. Where it applies to you. Excuse me. So I shuffle all the decks before I turn the camera on. I just usually give them one more and cut the deck after I turn the camera on. So here we go. I'm going to start with the Earth Wisdom cards first. And these, it's hard to shuffle when some decks are kind of small, really, for me. Um, but yeah, some of them are small where you have to shuffle them different than how I usually do it. So the first one of the Earth Wisdom for you, Pisces, is 23 Big Picture. I love this. This is beautiful. And this is the threefold spiral, which looks like transformation. And then you have a lot of stuff in there. Beautiful. So let me see. This is 23. And 23 usually would add to a 5, which is change. Oh, and I'm looking in the wrong one. I'm looking in the Italian literature part, and I can't read Italian. So it says 23. Belladonna is said to open the chakras and expand consciousness. Malachi activates psychic vision, can be used for scrying, and helps to focus on what is important. When situations feel chaotic, confused, or unsolvable, it is easy to feel frustrated and thrown in the towel. What is missing here is the key to understanding it all. There is more going on than meets a physical eye. Clear and open your chakras and allow your consciousness to expand. See the big picture and a key will be re revealed. So you see she has a key down there in the light. Beautiful Belladonna. So big picture. That is nice. Pisces. So the next one for you from the Earth Wisdom would be 8 which is infinity. So Divine Connection. And this is definitely one of my favorite cards in this deck. I love the green. It reminds me of the Northern Lights. So let me find eight. Okay, so eight means Divine Connection. Water Lily opens the crown chakra and raises awareness, encourages enlightenment. Selenite supports connection with the Divine. Instead of looking externally for guidance, which can be open to misinterpretation or put you at the mercy of someone else's agenda, focus on strengthening your own connection with the Divine. That is your best, most reliable North Star, the guiding source that you can always follow, even through the darkest night. And this has the triple spiral as well. Wow. So you have the same symbol in the first two cards which is transformation. Beautiful and there is green in both of them. So the next one Pisces is nine self-acceptance and I believe this one has the single and the double. Let me see. Yeah I see the single. Wow I see a lot in here. So definitely the single, which is growth. All right, so I have to use a magnifying glass when I look in there sometimes, too. That's why I wish I could somehow show you guys with the magnifying glass, but I don't know if that would work. I guess I should practice when I um, not have the doing a video. So it says, Witch Hazel harmonizes opposites and encourages the acceptance of individuality. Goldstone helps attaining goals and recognizing one's value. The journey to self-acceptance can be challenging. Humans are contradictory creatures who seek order. Reconcile your seemingly opposing qualities and find the common root. 
Overcome society's brainwashing and accept that you are enough. You have value. The trek to achieve self-acceptance is worth it. You are worth it. So I feel like you are growing and you're really going within yourself. I mean, be big picture. It looks like she's thinking. She's going up to the divine, looking up. She's offering, you know, give me wisdom. I'm open. I'm ready to receive is what I'm feeling. And then, of course, the masculine energy is looking for self-growth, too. So, very good. So, let's go to the Chakra Wisdom deck and Four of Coins. You are blocking your heart, Pisces, is what this is saying. You're pulling your heart close to you and you're kind of feeling overwhelmed. You're not sure who to trust and who to share your love with. So five of wands is people gossiping. There's a lot of people gossiping and talking. So nine of swords is somebody spying. A lot of spying. It could be communication coming in very emotional, very sharp. Then Eight of Swords, you're self-blaming, you're going inside, you're self-sabotaging, self-blaming yourself. So King of Cups. The King of Cups is a king who is codependent to me. He, he wants somebody to do what he tells them to do, but he can do what he wants to do. So I don't know if you got involved with a codependent king, or you're feeling like you are the codependent king. Three of Cups is peace and harmony, people getting along, everybody happy. And Six of Cups, this is you healing from something. You're healing. And the High Priestess. So the High Priestess knows her worth, and if people come to a High Priestess and treat her less than, she won't have it. She's not going to keep giving somebody chances. You have to come right. Um, the first time at a high priestess, usually, because she just knows a lot. And people try and get over on a high priestess. She knows things. And she doesn't even like it or know that she knows things. She just does. So judgment, to me, is three people who possibly interfered in your life somehow, Pisces, who tried to cause problems or interference. And the universe will um, take care of that. So six of coins is good karma or the universe feeling like you handled something really well with integrity. You gave to somebody without expecting anything back multiple times, I feel. Which is good. The universe will come back to you for that. So you have four of cups. Oh, I guess that's four of coins. So four of cups is you focusing on one thing and not seeing other things around you. So there's other people around you I feel that are attracted to you, but you're focusing on one person you're attracted to. And then Ace of Wands is opportunities coming around you. There's an opportunity of abundance or love, new job, something like that. So Four of Wands, this is marriage, Pisces. So that's odd. So I think I'm going to switch over to the Tarot Illuminati. We'll stop on the marriage. So the first one for you is Princess of Wands. So Princess of Wands is somebody who wants to take action. She's looking for somebody who wants a commitment. She doesn't want to go um, in and out. Prince of Cups is somebody offering love or an apology. Beautiful Pisces. Somebody's offering. So it's somebody from your past, I feel. Ten of Cups, this is happiness. So look at this Ace of Cups. So you have Ten of Cups and an Ace of Cups. So this is love. This is true love. Lifetime, commitment, somebody, I mean, peace, fulfillment. I see the lotus flowers in there. Beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. And you know what? Look at what I see right here, Pisces. They're the same flower. Look at that. Ace of Cups and the Divine Connection. So whoever is coming in to connect to you, I feel like is brought by the Divine. They're bringing this person to you. 
And I see you feel like you're healing and you're kind of on guard, but I know what I don't see in here, which is good. So three of pentacles would be growth and success in your coins. Your coins are growing somehow. You're coming into more abundance. So three of cups is happiness. Again, you have happiness. And then the high priestess again. So you've had the high priestess twice, Pisces. You know your worth and you will not let anyone treat you less than. And that's come out twice, so I wonder what it's trying to say. So then you have two of pentacles, which could be somebody juggling. It's either compromise and flexibility or juggling. So the world, your world is changing, Pisces. Your world, not your life. Not your job, your whole world is changing somehow. For, and you're getting stronger. So Queen of Swords is somebody who wants to communicate. Somebody wants to communicate her feelings, I feel. Um, and she just tells it like it is. I feel like somebody wants a new beginning, is what I feel. So Nine of Cups, this is happiness. Somebody's happy, this Queen of Swords wants a second chance. So Five of Cups, to me this is somebody feeling left out in the cold. They're focusing on something and not noticing what's around them, which we've got that twice. That somebody's focusing on something around them. So, Queen of Cups. Queen of Cups is love. This is somebody who's nurturing, who's kind, loving, who's not argumentative, very traditional. Prince of Swords. So, Prince of Swords is either spying or somebody coming in to communicate. But this is probably spying. The Lover is beautiful. This could be Gemini placement around you, Pisces, but that is the Lover's. Eight of Cups. Eight of Cups is you feeling like you're worried something's not going to work out. You feel like, yeah, it's you're trying to balance it out. You're trying to balance out the money and the love, I feel. And you're worried. So you're trying to balance something is what I'm seeing. Judgment. So you had judgment twice. The universe is... I feel like the universe is involved, whatever's going on with you right now, Pisces, heavily. There's something going on where somebody around you who hurt you or something is going to get, I don't know what they're going to get. There's some judgment. They're getting judgment from the universe. Or somebody passed judgment on you and they're about to get judgment back to them or something, something on... People interfering in your life and stuff is what I'm seeing. They're about to get something reciprocated. So the hangman is a delay. You're confused. You're not thinking correctly. You don't know how to handle some certain situation. So Queen of Pentacles is happiness. This is love. This is luxury. Strength. New beginnings. I feel like somebody is trying to make you feel like the Queen of Pentacles. And Three of Wands. So Three of Wands is opportunities. You have opportunities and lots of opportunities around you, Pisces. So I think I'm going to switch to the Soul's Journey Lesson Cards. You know, this is really good. The swords were all pretty much spying or communication. I did not see um, any third party in here, and I always get nervous when I see the Three of Cups because that's my precursor, but I didn't see the second card. So I do feel like this is really good. I mean, wow is all I can say. So let me pull the Soul's Journey lesson cards for you. And the first one is Forgiveness. I acknowledge the honoring resentment blocks the flow of love. So I feel like if you forgive somebody and heal, your sacral chakra will open up in abundance. And the next one for you is help. I will honor the physical vessel that enshrines my soul. And that's a lotus flower in the middle. 
So I do feel like if you forgive somebody, you are going to be in a better place. You are going to um, be able to be healthier. You know, if you have resentment, which we saw judgment, not resentment. If you resent people or hold stagnant negative feelings inside you because of somebody else, that can just lead to bad stuff all the way around is what I'm feeling. So your health is important. You're doing okay, but don't let go of forgiveness. Let go of it or forgive somebody. Don't hang on to resentment. So the first whispers of the Ocean Oracle card is where you need to be, 26. Acknowledge how you are feeling. Have faith that the universe will take care of a current concern by providing the best possible outcome for all involved. And this is the blue dragon. And they go with the flow. They go, they're in the ocean and they just go where the flow takes them. So you're where you're supposed to be. Everything is how it should be. And the next one is polite declaration 19, which if you add could be a 10. So you can move in whatever direction you need to to accomplish your goals. It is time for you to get out there, claim what is yours, and stay in your power. So this talks about you have the power right now to do what you want to do. And I see a lot of heart chakra in there, a lot of passion. But I see the passion has holes in it, if you will. So you're trying to not let the passion help make your decision. You're trying to make a decision using your heart chakra without using so much of your passion, I feel. You're trying really hard. So, um, wow, beautiful. Let me switch over to the Angel and Ancestor deck for you, and then we're almost done. Very good reading, Pisces. You know, we're in Virgo season, so this is your opposite. Virgo is your opposite, but it looks like you're doing okay. So the first one is see here. See beyond the current situation. So Seer talks about not creating, um, not seeing the future to know what's ahead of you. It's about seeing the future to create what's best for you. That's what a Seer does. A Seer doesn't, you know, somebody who's in tune with themselves can see into the future and say, Oh, I, I see this going here. I see this not going anywhere. So you have that ability, Pisces, is what this says. Um... Pay attention. See beyond the current situation. Go with your feeling. Go with your gut. See what everything is trying to tell you right now. So broken arrow, embrace the energy of peace. This is telling you to... A broken arrow is what Native Americans did when they didn't want to fight anymore. It was a symbol of peace. So I feel like it's time for you to break the arrow and have peace with somebody. Um, judgment came out twice, forgiveness came out, polite declaration, everything happens the way it's supposed to, I feel, Pisces. I know a lot of people don't like hearing that, that's how I feel. And you are supposed to embrace this energy, you were meant to learn something, and I do feel like you did learn it. But you definitely, um, I was looking for the soul cards again, what were those? The forgiveness and help. So yeah, broken arrow. Forgiveness and peace was really strong in this. So I hope this helps you out a lot, Pisces. Thank you so much for coming to Echo Catch Your Tarot. If you're not subscribed, please do that. If you hit the bell icon, that means your phone will beep every time I upload a video. So if you subscribe and don't hit the bell icon, your phone won't beep. And I upload two videos every day at 4 a.m. Pacific Standard Time if that helps you make that decision. Alright, thank you so much, Pisces. Bless you, Pisces.